Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? <laughs> Good, man. How you doing? Hey, Hugh, do you ever get tired of playing law enforcement? <laughs> I don't. I don't, especially if Taylor Sheridan's involved. You know, <laughs> I, I've watched your work since Flashpoint. I think there was a period, I think I've seen every episode when it was on I.O. <laughs> yeah. You know, so obviously you're playing dual roles here, which is rare for some couple of shows. You know, behind well, what's the funny is Taylor, Taylor was my coach on that, Wilson. He was my acting coach back in the day. We were two broke actors in L.A. And Taylor went, this Flashpoint show is good. Uh, let's go for that. And he coached me for, you know, he coached me for all those episodes. And that's, you know, when we were two broke actors, that's where we started this uh, Mary Kingstown conversation. So talk to me about, obviously, the role you're playing here and serving, you know, dual roles both on and off the camera. <laughs> Well, I've got to say, you know, um, the acting is one component, but really it's 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 so eye opening and, uh, and I'm so grateful. This is all a dream to me and I persevered and it took so many years to get it here. And for me to, to be able to sit behind the camera and watch Toby, for example, just blow up the bar. There isn't even a bar. This guy's so good. <laughs> it's like it's like I had my ideas of the script and I'd had it for so long, but to watch a, another performer um, take it to such another level, it's 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 beautiful. I just couldn't I'm 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 satisfied in my whole life. This show is like to watch and Renner and Diane Weiss and Taylor Hanley and to watch what Taylor Sheridan has done. It's just like, oh my God, I I I I'm knocking on wood, even when I'm talking to Wilson. There are a number of characters here. There are like fearful characters and Toby is one of them. And Toby talking about coming into this show and being one of these guys that you have to fear because you don't know where it's going to go at any given time, at any given episode. Um, yeah, it's um, I, I couldn't I couldn't approach it like that because then it would have been impossible for me to um, to to humanize him, you know, and, you know, and actually understand why he has to do these things that people are fearful of right um so yeah i had to i had to really kind of break it down to the bare the bare bones of who he is and and particularly what his motivations are in this in this um in this town in in, in kingstown so um once once i understood that um then it just became a matter of of um fleshing him out um um and that was that I, I love I love that kind of process. Um, Bunny Bunny in himself is uh, is I find him to be quite a multifaceted individual, um, a multifaceted character. Um, what you see is not necessarily what you get all the time um, because you wouldn't understand if if I was to say to you that he's a family man, it would be very difficult to understand the context in which that applies. If you know what I mean, he's the head of the Crips. But realistically, really and truly, he actually values his family and he looks out for them. Hence why he is in that position. And, you know, in, in this in this particular uh, uh, business of um, pharmaceuticals and narcotics, let's call it, you know. Um, so, yeah, that that's that's um, I guess that's a little bit about him. Yeah. Well, there's a lot to go. Obviously, you know, when, when you have the show and you know where who the people are behind it. It always going to spark intrigue. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. We'll keep it going. And uh, we look forward to seeing the show. The rest Thank of you very much, Wilson. Thank Take you. Take care. And JP, that is a cut. Wilson, I sent you your next room link in our